Ugh. That logo animation was as boring as politicians talking about property taxes. Come on now, now, don't let it get to you. I mean, your jokes really do suck, but uh, at least your mom still loves you. How's Dylan? Oh, I couldn't care less about that kid. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's forget that happened. Let's take a look at a couple examples of some amazing logo animations. All of those were created with MLogo Cinematic, and it is incredibly easy to do. MLogo Cinematic can be found in your titles after purchasing and installing via M Installer. You have 26 awesome options to choose from, as well as 7 titles and lower thirds that you can use in your projects. Let's use MLogo Cinematic 14. We'll drag this either over our footage, or you can place it right on the primary storyline. Head into the inspector window, hit drop zone, and you'll select your logo, whether that be in the media browser or somewhere on the timeline. Then click apply. You'll notice that depending on the animation option, MLogo Cinematic will automatically make your logo look 3D. There are quite a few options in the pack that'll do this for you. You're able to customize these options how you want. You can adjust the size and the pan of your logo. You can fine tune the lighting and coloring in all of the options. You can turn on and off letterboxes and vignettes and such easily. You basically have complete control of all the fine details in every option. If you want more glow around the logo, you got it. If you want to adjust some of the reflectivity and blur on some of the floor reflections, it's a quick slide for an adjustment. It seriously does look like you hired an animation expert to create those, huh? Click the link in the description to check out MLogo Cinematic, and make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so you can get notified about all our new videos and releases, and I will see you in the next one.